people and welcome back to my gaming series and today I'm going to show you how to get this beautiful thing here the Wizdish Rover working for the PSVR okay so first up is we've got a PS4 there we've got a VR headset all plugged in and we've got the Rover now there's a wire that extends from the Rover that is a mic uh, slot so you've got to put it in the second one the pink one you put it straight in once you've got it into the into the uh, computer all you do is you I'll uh, show you Put close maps up for a moment. You go here and you right click on it and run it as administrator. As soon as that works, you can see the W key being pressed. And that's what makes the uh, the locomotion work in the game. Now, as I just you might have briefly partly say the cross maps plus software, and that's right, we are using the cross maps plus to do this. It's really simple. All you've got to do is you go in, you plug in the cross maps plus here. There's a little sock on the side, you plug that into your USB port on the laptop. Okay? So, while you're doing that, you then get the DualShock 4 controller, as you can see right here. And, hang on two seconds while I put this on my, my leg, while I plug it over. And plug, plug the controller in. So, as you can see, the controller is now plugged in. And you plug this little thing into your PlayStation, just like this. So, that goes into your PlayStation. And then you get your control wire, as you can see, and you just plug that into the bottom there. Once that's in, it will initialise. And that happens, you come over to here, you go into your tools, this is when your first time set up. You go into your tools, and you go to options. Okay, I'm only showing you this, I've already done it myself. And you go to device. When you're on device, select PS4. Let's go down to flow control that you're going to need. Okay, because that'll stop the 10 minute timeout thing. Which is good because you don't want that. You definitely don't want that. Okay, um, sorry Okay, so once you've done that, you then go to plugins. You go to XM. Click XM when it loads up. There you go, and you go to File and Layout. You select New Layout and you go to the top of the Doom Shop 4 controller. As you can see there, you put a W, so you just see it there. A w, yeah, that will make the, um, the PlayStation think that the Rover, because it's running in the background, is the up analog access, up access on the analog controller. When you're all ready to go, you simply press Enter Capture Mode. Like that. And once you've done that, you should see that the PlayStation will now work using the rover. Very simple, all we've got to do is test it, press W key on the laptop. And that's it. You know, just to say, um, do it like a slight edit. There we go. So there's a slight edit. Um, when you go into the Steam Apps Plus, it says enable PS4 pass for crossover support. That will stop the actual um, 10 minute timeout. So originally got wrong, so I thought I'd just do a little edit to show you how to actually do it. You just click that and there you go, totally sorted. Uh, you get the WizDish software free from their website. You just go to the link down below, uh, click it, download it, order your over, have fun, and remember to tell them Shane said yeah. And uh, yeah, my friend, that's all the time for updated people. So once again, I've been me and you've been you. Thank you so much for joining me on my gaming series. Join me next time for something else. Bye-bye for now.